so what what drives me is the ever changing world that we live in in terms of technology you know as you know that i am pretty much related to the technology industry the it industry and in the last 10 years or so we've seen significant changes um, that have happened uh, and they are really fast moving so when you looked at the way i started my career in it in mainframe technologies to where we are going in talking about cloud and a lot of different um, ai and machine learning kind of uh, technologies it's come a long way right i work for um, uh, aws amazon today and i think we've got we, we have a few leadership principles that we follow 16 of those and i think one of those is basically uh, learn and be curious so that is something which i um, i have imbibed in me right from uh, very early on and i i love to you know for uh, research new topics learn learn about new things so hence as i said and and it is an imperative that we find ourselves in today that uh, you cannot really uh, uh, avoid uh, if you if you don't stop learning you pretty much become stagnant and irrelevant so hence i think that's that's quite key so this is what uh, what drives me what keeps me um, still in the game is primarily that the challenges that customers are facing today have changed from what they were earlier and the whole um, aspect of how you can address a particular customer challenge and then being able to solve a, a real problem for a customer is something which kind of, kind of really interests me and excites me and i think uh, in my work so far i've been quite lucky to have been able to work with multiple customers globally uh, where uh, you know i'm able to address some unique challenges and then uh, being able to offer to specific solutions of course working with the teams that i work with so that is something which kind of um, you know keeps me keeps me motivated and going i would say first of all when you talk about ai in recruitment i believe that it is a critical element today and it has in fact uh, improved the efficiency of the recruitment process because if you to look at the various steps involved in a recruitment right from the time of uh, advertising for a particular role uh, to the time with where you kind of collecting uh, potential profiles to actually analyzing them and going through them to find which are most relevant and then going through the whole interview process and the selection uh, it takes a long time and i believe that ai can help in automating some of these tasks i again talked about automation you know where that's where ai uh, ai is most uh, uh, what do you call um, valuable um, uh, aspect is and if you look at uh, one particular job which is advertised today you typically get 50 to 100 resumes uh, for for that particular position people applying for that depending on the the kind of position you are applying for depending kind of uh, role that is there for a human to actually go through all of that to analyze and find out you know if this is a relevant experience or not it's easier to kind of um, do it programmatically through ai and and i think that's where i think it kind of crunches the time to give to filter out the noise from the um, from the real um, uh, you know signals that you want to to look at so the resume is that you want to con- sense you're working with a shorter list rather than the longer list uh, where it is um, necessary for the humans to then work in is basically how do you ensure that the recruitment process is is right uh, in in amazon for example we have um as part of the recruitment process we do something called uh, we look at something called bar raises what that really means is that when we are hiring somebody a new talent into the organization is that person uh, at least 50% better than the kind of team which we have which we are hiring in hence does that person bring in any unique qualities that will be complementary and additive to what we are currently doing there today that way you are actually improving your talent pool within an organization it's a great way uh, to tap into talent and make sure that uh, your talent level keeps increasing because the problems and the challenges which our customers facing are different they are in, and they are kind of scaling up as well so that's one of the aspects which probably uh, an ai uh, or a bot may not be able to address and hence probably in human intervention required the first thing which i I'm, i currently look at rather i would be keen to look at is in terms of the ability to understand customers problems the ability to be obsessed about customers customer obsession is again one of the key areas because all businesses survive or are are um, are there primarily to serve customers and if you are not trying to focus your uh, energies in terms of driving customer benefits 
understanding what the customer challenges are then it it is um, you, you you won't survive as a business hence somebody as an individual if you're a customer obsessed that means you're doing the right things the second thing i would say is primarily taking ownership so you i would look at people who actually rolled up their sleeves and actually done the work and understand you know what they have contributed rather than uh, taking um, uh, credit for uh, a team which has done, done the work right so you work in a team that doesn't matter you know you always have to work in a team as a single person you cannot deliver things but then you as an individual need to have make sure that you are contributed and what you are proud of in terms of uh, taking that ownership and the third thing is basically uh, thinking big so primarily because today when we look at um, how organizations have grown and especially in the it industry if you are not able to think big you are not able to scale up then you become again um, uh, irrelevant or your growth kind of gets hampered as an organization so we want individuals to come in who have got that capability to think big and be able to scale up um, in terms of the kind of um, you know businesses that we we trying to serve so these are the three three most important things which i i would look at so ixc has been i mean i have been um, following the journey of um, ixc for a few years now i known yogita as well personally um, uh, is in the past and what you guys are doing is great specifically prime because you are in an undifferentiated market trying to create a niche is going to be difficult because there's so many recruitment agencies out there so what is it that kind of sets you apart i believe that based on my dealings with i exceed and few of the other um, recruitment agencies which i've used in my, in the past my previous organizations um uh, one of the key aspects which i think is important from an i exceed perspective which i see is taking the ownership on the recruitment aspect so taking it Uh, from right from the and and the hand holding of the client when you go through the whole process many a times many of the recruitment agencies acts act as peer um, uh, mere postman yeah they just collect resumes they probably take it from a database and ship it across without even trying to review those resumes trying to see if that person fits the profile or not so where ixc can really add value is taking that initial uh, heavy lifting off of its client which requires a lot of um a uh, lot of di- diving deep into individuals in their resumes and even having that first first initial conversation so filtering that that noise out so i think that's where uh, that's something which you kind of good at and i think the great work that you've been doing so kudos to you and uh, wishing you all the best